The purpose of this video is to give practical advice on how to safely manage cables when connecting your new FR4X to external equipment. Of course, different people have different requirements in this regard. If you always play your FR4X on battery power, using its internal speaker system for sound generation, then you have no need for interconnecting cables. This video is not for you. Also, many people who wish to connect to external amplified speakers use a wireless system. That's a great solution for on-stage performances as well as for strolling in restaurants. And again, this video is not for you. Still, many people working either on stage or in a home or professional music studio environment prefer having solid hardwire cable connection to AC power as well as to a variety of external devices. As electronic musical instruments evolve over the years, they typically provide more and more features that require connection to external devices. Just look at what is provided on the FR4X. In addition to the usual AC power adapter, left and right audio output receptacles, and MIDI receptacle, you also have a USB to host receptacle for connection to a computer which you will need to do if you want to customize your instrument's sounds using Roland's FR4X set editor software. You also have something new on the 4X, a miniature stereo audio input receptacle for playing the audio from external devices through your FR4X. You might ask, what good is that? One reason for plugging a cable into the new miniature stereo audio input receptacle is when playing with another musician, like a keyboard player or electric guitarist, and you want the two audio signals combined and then fed from the audio output of your FR4X to external speakers, or possibly to external recording equipment as well. It saves the need of a mixer. It's a feature that has been common for years on higher quality keyboards, and I'm happy to see Roland now including it on the FR4X. You may also want to use this stereo miniature audio input connection feature if you want to play with a backing track while at the same time recording your part of the performance using the FR4X's internal audio record to USB feature. What's that you say? Why not just use the FR4X's own internal audio player for that backing track? Yes, of course you can use the FR4X's own audio player feature to play a backing track during your performances. But you cannot do so and at the same time record your own playing using the FR4X's internal audio record to USB feature. This is made very clear on page 38 of the reference manual. You cannot start the recording while the player is playing a song. It's either one or the other. In such a case, you need to feed your backing track into your instrument from a portable player like this one. Roland's reference manual mentions that. And you do so by connecting the player to the miniature stereo audio input receptacle on your 4X. Note that when you do this, the FR4X's record to USB feature records only your playing, not the backing track being fed to the miniature stereo receptacle. The FR4X was specifically designed to do that. To construct your final recording consisting of the combination of the two parts, backing track and your playing, you import both your backing track and your recorded performance audio files into separate tracks of multi-track audio editing software, like Pro Tools, Ableton, Cakewalk, or GarageBand. You can even use Audacity. This is standard studio practice. Of course, we all have different needs. Still, at Roxy's, we foresee that on the FR4X, many customers will want to make several hardwire cable connections to their instrument, and we want to encourage you to do it safely. An important consequence of hardwire connections is the need to stress relieve cables. By that I mean protecting a cable from accidentally getting yanked out of its socket. 
and in the process damaging the receptacle inside the instrument. That can easily happen on an instrument like an accordion, which is attached to your body. As you walk around in your music room, you might accidentally step on a cable, or you might get a cable caught on something. Roland is well aware of the danger of this happening, which is why in their owner's manual and reference manual, they advise stress relieving all cables. If you are using just the AC adapter cable like this, they recommend routing it under the bellows strap. like this. Now the cable is better protected. If it is accidentally yanked, the plug will not be so susceptible to getting yanked out of the receptacle. For higher numbers of cables, they recommend securing all cables to the bottom of the right shoulder strap using a Velcro strip that they provide in the box with your instrument. But you will soon discover that such stress relief protection is a bit marginal. When I'm finished playing and I lock the bottom's bellow strap, of course, I remove the AC adapter cable from under the strap. Now it's loose. I could accidentally step on it as I get up from my chair. Besides, if I have three or more cables attached to my instrument, like perhaps this, they start getting all tangled and difficult to manage. So, we at Roxy's propose a better solution. Cables can be better attached to the instrument by using a clip like this, also called a carabiner, available at most outdoor sports stores, and a couple of tie wraps, or zip ties as they are often called. Watch how I do it in the case of just a single AC power cable. First, I attach a medium sized zip tie to my instrument, to the bottom bracket. like this. Next, I attach the AC adapter cable to the carabiner clip, like this. And I secure it with a small tie wrap. Like this. I've chosen bright colors for my tie wraps so that you can more clearly see them in the video. Now, all I need to do is attach the carabiner to the instrument like this. And my AC adapter cable is perfectly stress release, relieved. I can pull all I want on the AC adapter cable and the plug is fully protected from being pulled out of its receptacle. Plus, I can still conveniently remove the cable whenever I wish to operate portable using battery power. The benefit of this carabiner clip solution becomes much more clear when you want to make more connections. If you work often in a studio environment, it's not unrealistic to want hardwire cable connection to all of your instrument's features. AC power, USB to computer, stereo miniature audio input, a MIDI cable, 
And maybe you want to use some high-quality audio output cables, like these Mogamis. They're very popular in professional studios. Just look at all these wires. How can I manage this? I can use the same carabiner clip solution that I used last time. But in this case, it is better to join the cables together into a harness. You can use sleeving material like this, which you can purchase online. It comes in various sizes. Choose a size that is appropriate for the number of cables that you wish to have attached to your instrument. Well, here I am with my home studio cable harness for use with the FR4X. The sleeving wraps all the cables together, making them much easier to manage. And at the same time, all plugs in the instrument are properly stress relieved. You see, I can pull all I want and not risk any damage to the various receptacles on the instruments. I'm now hardwired into my mixer, which feeds my audio amplifier speaker system, as well as external professional recording equipment, which I happen to be using right now to record my voice. I have MIDI connection to my BK7M. Whenever I want to work with the FR4X set editor software, I simply plug this USB connector into my computer. Similarly, if I want to patch into the FR4X a portable audio player, I do so using this miniature stereo connector. By the way, did you notice that the FR4X does not have its own internal metronome? No problem. I just plug into a portable one using the same miniature stereo connector. I can conveniently enjoy all these features and I don't have to worry about tangled wires. Everything is neatly wrapped and easy to handle. And I have no fear of damaging the receptacles on my instrument. I'm now prepared in my home music studio for any kind of musical project on the FR4X. And of course, the real advantage of this strategy for connecting cables to the FR4X is that any time I want, I can simply remove it. All cables removed, and I can use the instrument for portable operation on battery power. And I can at any time conveniently reconnect all of these cables. Now, of course, everyone's needs are different. Not everyone needs to have hardwire connection to all of the features that you see me doing here. The reason I do it is because I do a lot of studio work. I do a lot of music recording. So I need to prepare myself for any kind of recording situation, and that's why I do it. Your requirements may require slightly less numbers of cables. That's fine too, but this is what works for me. I have one last tip to give on the safe use of your FR4X. As you know, it has a USB receptacle to accept a flash drive. If you wish to make heavy use of backing tracks, make audio recordings, or save and load user programs and user sets from a flash drive, you may find yourself inserting different flash drives into this receptacle often. Over the lifespan of your instrument, you may end up doing this thousands of times. The receptacle is of high quality. However, some inexpensive flash drives are poorly constructed and they can cause damage to the receptacle. You wouldn't want to damage your $4,000 FR4X just because you're using a cheap $1 flash drive that you bought at a discount store, do you? The way to protect yourself against this problem is to use a short USB extension cable called a port protector cable. Now I insert the flash drive into the port protector cable. If the receptacle on the cable gets damaged by a cheap flash drive, 
I simply replace the cable with a new one. I can insert flash drives thousands of times without worry that I will damage the receptacle in my instrument. Actually, I find it easier to insert the flash drive up here than in the original receptacle location down here. If you don't like the placement of the flash drive using this short 6-inch port protector cable, buy a longer one. They come in various lengths. Whenever I want to put my instrument in a gig bag, I remove the cable. Notice how I use a small transparent adhesive clip to keep the cable in place. I use port protectors on all my instruments. See? I'm using one on my BK7M. In this case, I'm using a longer one so that I can mount the USB flash drive on the side of the instrument like this. I hope in this video I've given you some good practical ideas for safe use of your FR4X, both on stage and in the home music studio. At Roxy's, we are dedicated to helping you get the best use of your musical instruments. Everyone at Roxy's wishes you success using your FR4X.